<laughs> you totally caught us laughing. <laughs> and I'll tell you why. <laughs> We're setting up, you know, all of this stuff is done on the fly. <laughs> We usually have no idea what we're going to say ahead of time. We just kind of, you know, talk. <laughs> and so we're trying to get everything ready. And one of the things that we're going to be talking about uses a ruler. And I said, oh, I should probably grab the ruler. <laughs> no, that's not what you said. <laughs> Do I need to get the ruler? <laughs> so, of course, mom immediately with her Catholic upbringing <laughs> goes to, what, you going to smack my wrist with it? <laughs> She didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> I was talking about the Wonder Curve ruler, not slapping her wrist with the ruler <laughs> like the nuns used to do to her. <laughs> they never did. No, they never did, really. It's just a, it's just a myth. <laughs> well, I, I don't know. <laughs> There's probably plenty of you out there that got your knuckles wrapped by the, the yardstick, <laughs> as it were. All right. Anyway, <laughs> welcome to... Our Friday, not Friday, Wednesday, <laughs> live at five. Here's to hoping it's Friday <laughs> at Old Town Quilt Shop. Like I said, we're totally off the cuff here. If we were more professional, you guys would wonder what our problem was. Were we drugged? Did we get hit on the head? You know, we're just keeping it amateur here. I was going to have a song and a dance prepared for you because we really don't have a lot of stuff, but we drummed up some stuff for you so I can have something to show you. So. And if you don't like it, you can come in and knack me on the knuckles with the <laughs> with the ruler. <laughs> All right, so if we've got some people, we can go ahead and get started. All righty. So fabric-wise, we don't have a lot this week. We happen to know that our ship is coming in tomorrow. Um, so next week we will have a lot for you, but tonight we just have a little a little bit of fabric, so we'll go ahead and get started with that. Alrighty, so first we have a holiday straggler. This guy came in um, just this week, but he happens to go with the Merry and Bright collection from Moda by me and my sister designs. So these are candy canes, red and green. They are directional, um, unfortunately, but they would make a really cute placemat or like if you wanted to make a mug rug with them, you know, so that you can have your hot chocolate with whipped cream <laughs> and a little cookie. Um, so these would be really cute. They'd also make a cute mask um, since we're coming up on the holidays and we're still going to be wearing masks. So if you need a new holiday mask, these would be a good one. So anyways, this is Merry and Bright. They're $13.65 a yard like all the other ones in that line um, from Moda Fabrics. And then we also received this flannel. It really is called Baby Boy Moon and Stars Flannel. Um, also directional, so we'll rotate that around to the right way. So it is moon, stars, and clouds on a, I wouldn't say blue background. I don't quite know what the color is. It's very grayed out. It shows more blue than really it is. It has some green in it. It's kind of like a, a deep teal almost. Um, but it's nice, you know, it's nice and soft. It's got a uh, gray moon, light, gray creamy kind of clouds and then yellow and blue stars throughout um, it kind of works with a few of the other things that we have but of course you know right now we're getting shipments that we're getting one here and five there and two there and then maybe another straggler a month later so this is part of a shipment that uh, we ha have other bolts coming so it probably goes with something else we just haven't gotten yet um, but this is from Riley Blake and it's 1380 a yard and it, just type in baby boy and it will come up um, in the search. Okay, and then we have this cute little collection that is oddly called Smiling Safari. It goes with other stuff that we didn't get from the collection. We happen to really like the basics in it and then these birthday balloons. Um, but it's Smiling Safari Friends from PB Textiles and they're $13.45 a yard. So I'm actually going to start with the balloons and then we're going to work our way down. So the balloons are kind of on a. Mm, washed almost a light blue gray blue background it's not quite white um, and then the balloons are all different colors and different sizes they're really cute so if you've got someone with a birthday coming up and you want to make them a special something whether it's a placemat or a table runner or wall hanging a hat a bib um, this would be really cute for that and it doesn't have to be birthday it could really be you know just celebration of any kind um, they're not quite as bright I guess as it's dark I don't know 
as it's showing, but it has all the primary colors in it, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink. It's got all the stuff in there, lime green. Now, this stuff in the collection all coordinates with it. However, we didn't get it to go with the balloons. Um, we caught them because we really like the basics. And currently, we have all of these uh, merchandised with the Bloom Bouquet collection because the colors really, really work with it. So it's a lime green, kind of an orangey red, an aqua teal blue, and then a pink that has kind of a lot of blue in it. Um, and these are all showing darker on camera than they actually are. So if you look up Bloom Bouquet and then you pull in, so if you go into, you know, add to your cart or add to your design wall, you'll be able to see them all together and they really do work really well um, with one another. So if you are wondering what the colors really are, you can find it on the website. But again, these are smiling safari friends and they just have little, you know, little like florally, leafy type things on them. Um, really cute for sashings for a kid's quilt. Um, you know, you could use them as they are, but really they are, you know, meant to be blenders to coordinate with some other things in your stash or, or other things that we have here in the shop. Okay, that concludes the fabric portion of our show. So now we have classes and we've been, we kind of talked about a few of these um, last week, but now we have a little bit more to show you. So we've been kind of working on classes for next year. I know this is the end of October already and we're only kind of just thinking about stuff for next year because we just don't know what's going to happen. So we're just taking it, you know, little chunks at a time. Um, but we went ahead and figured out some things, you know, moving forward. So we want to kind of show you what's upcoming and all of these are on the website. So you'll be able to sign up on the website. You'll be able to get more information on the website. Um, if you still have questions, of course, you can feel free to give us a call, but all of these are open now for signups. So we'll start with what's still actually this year. Um, we'll show the sign and then we'll show the product project. So it's called Sew It Yourself. So this is actually a program through uh, Free Spirit Fabrics. Um, Sew It Yourself, it's designed to get some of our beginning quilters, some of our maybe mask makers who would like to learn how to quilt or sew, um, or people who are just wanting to learn how to sew, to get into sewing. Um, learn how to use a machine and learn about some of the things that you can make. So the first project for the Sew It Yourself is a pillow. Um, we're throwing in a mug rug with the class because it's super easy and it's cute and it'll make a good little gift. Um, so this is class is going to be on Tuesday, December 7th from 10 to 4. The cost is $25. Um, I'll be in the instructor actually for the pillow and mom will be the instructor for the mug rug. Um, this is definitely beginner friendly. However, you do need to know how to use your machine because we probably don't. <laughs> so as long as you know how to use your machine, then it's beginner friendly. So the mug rug is this little apple guy and he takes hardly any fabric at all. I think just a couple fat eights makes four of these apples. Um, and I think we are providing the little tab, the, the little loopy there. We're, we're providing all of it. Okay, yeah. so we're providing everything that you need to make this little apple guy. So that's a pretty good deal. For $25, you get to do two projects and one of them you get all of the supplies um, provided for you. So this will make it cute teacher gift. It'll make just a cute little, you know, just anything. And you don't have to do red and green. You can do, um, you know, like a black and white one, or you can do purple one. You can do anything you want to. So it's just a cute, small project. Easy, you know, easy to finish. Um, it won't take very long at all. So that's one of the things. And then the other thing is this pillow. So some of you might recognize the fabrics as being from the turnstile quilt. I use my leftovers. So that's kind of what this is meant to do. You can just use your leftovers. You can use fat quarters, just use your stash, scraps, whatever, um, whatever you'd like. You can make a whole bunch of different fabrics. You can, you know, coordinate them all. You can do all the same, all different, you know, whatever. You've got a lot of options on here and we'll give you the supplies list um, when you sign up. But you'll learn how to also bind the pillow as well as do an envelope back. Now we're giving you guys the pattern for this and the pattern actually calls for cording, which we will have as an option for your pillow. And it calls for a button back, which if you would like to do that, you have at it. <laughs> but I'm only going to be teaching how to do the envelope back because it's easiest. Um, and it makes 
swap it out or if you need to wash the cover for any reason um, then it makes it nice because you can really make several of these in different seasons or for different holidays or just different colors you could have you know several of them on your couch or whatever but this is a nice easy pattern that's really good for you know people who don't really know how to quilt or are just beginning to sew um, so the whole point of this program is to get you guys you know sewing so the size of the pillow is 18 inches. So it's not super huge, it's you know, a really good couch pillow. I've actually had it on the chair at the sewing machine here, <laughs> using it as to sit behind. So, so that's that. So once again, that's December 7th and it's called Sew It Yourself. And this is gonna be a series. So we're gonna have, um, I think there's three more. I think there's a total of four in the series. So the rest of them will be next year and they come out every couple of months. So we'll get the next project, which is, I believe, in April. So February-ish, maybe. Um, okay, so that's that. Next in the lineup is going to be Beatrice. So this is in January. So this is, and we'll show you the pattern, but the pattern is the newest one from Kitchen Table Quilting, which we love her patterns. They're so easy to read, and they usually just come together really quickly. We've got several of hers here in the shop. Uh, but the date and no special rulers. Um, that's kind of the nice thing about hers is that did, they don't require any special rulers. And again, this one is beginner friendly. So if you've just taken the beginning class or you you know made a quilt here and there, but you're not really sure if you're doing it right, this comes together super easy. And I'll show you, I did the baby size and it literally, you can have it done in just a few hours. Um, you'll if you do the baby size you'll have your top done by the time you leave class more than likely um, so the date on this is january 15th this is a saturday from 10 to 4 and it's 35 dollars plus the pattern which is usually either 10 or 12 dollars um, i'll be teaching it i don't have the patterns in shop yet we just ordered them um, it's a brand new quilt for her so i was able to get the pdf in order to make the sample but we'll have the patterns here in the shop soon but you can still sign up for the class it's not till january so you've got time um, this is what the pattern looks like. So like I said, it's the Beatrice quilt. And her patterns give sizes all the way up from baby to king. Um, this is not the baby size. I think this is probably the throw or the twin size. But I will show you what the baby size looks like. And the baby is 36 by 45. And it just uses 10 10 inch squares. Um, or you can use fat quarters like I did and have 10 inch squares to make another one. <laughs> um, most of them are either 10 inch square or fat quarter friendly. The larger size use um, yardage. This one is in the process of being quilted. I was just quilting on it this morning. So this is the baby. So this just takes 10 10 inch squares or 10 fat quarters. You know, if you want to use fat quarters and use the leftovers for something else. So super, super easy. Like I said, um, this, you know, beginners can definitely take this on. Um, it's really quick to do. It will come together super quickly. There's not a whole lot of things to match, but there are things that I can teach you um, about the points on here and squaring up. Um, and the nice part is you do make your blocks oversized, so you do have the chance to square them up. So that's um, a really nice feature of this. So this is Beatrice. So you could do baby fabric. You could do any fab, you know, you could make it rainbow if you want. Um, Lots of different things, but I've been dying to use the owl fabric, and so this is what it got made into. <laughs> so again, that's Beatrice, January 15th, $35 plus the pattern, which we will have in the shop um, shortly. Okay, that's January. Moving on to February, we kind of talked about this one last week. Um, Whirly Gig Reflection. So this is using the Wonder Curve um, ruler and it's from the new book Wonderful Curves Sampler book uh, from So Kind of Wonderful. So this class is also Saturday, February 19th from 10 to 4 and it's $35 plus you have to have the ruler and the book um, in order to take the class and Michelle's going to be teaching that. And of course the pattern and the book and the pattern book is available. Well the pattern will be available next week the book next week it's out of stock at the moment but this is what it looks like so the sampler book has all kinds of just blocks in it um, and then you can combine some of those blocks to make a quilt so they've combined this reflections block with the whirligig block 
to make the Whirligig Reflections quilt. So this is what you're going to be making in that class. And again, it uses the Wonder Curve ruler, which is this one, and the book Wonderful, Wonderful Curves Sampler book, which we will have next week. Yep. Okay, and then we are diving into the realm of block of the month. <laughs> We're not sure if we like this or not, but we do love the quilt, so we hope that you guys do too. And I'm still waiting for a little bit more information on it, um, but we think that the kit is going to be around 300-ish, but it makes a huge quilt. So it makes an 88 by 112 quilt. Um, so, and we are going to be offering a class uh, every month on the third Thursday of the month, um, every month next year, and it's $20 for the class and I'm gonna be teaching that one. But it's only gonna be offered to the people who buy the kit because the pattern, as far as I know, the pattern is only available um, through the kit. So if you don't have the kit, then you won't have the pattern and you'll have no idea what we're doing. So if you're interested in doing it, this, whoops, I'm gonna lose my pieces. I'm working on it now. I'm trying to get the blocks done and I will show you guys what an actual block looks like, but this is what the pattern looks like, the quilt. So it's a bunch, uh, it's 12 blocks, they're 24 inches finished. Um, and what's nice about this is it doesn't look like a sampler. You know, it just looks like, you know, a, a bunch of blocks in there, but they're really kind of cool. Um, and what's neat is that maybe you'll land on a block that you really, really like making and you can just make a whole bunch of those if you want to. Um, but you're gonna learn a lot of different things. So you're gonna learn applique and you're gonna learn paper piecing and you're gonna learn how to square things up and doing your points and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you are interested in getting the kit and you want to take the class and you don't have to take it every single month. I mean, if there's an easy month and you think, oh, I got this, that's fine. If there's another month where it's paper piecing and you're not totally familiar with paper piecing, you can choose to come to class that month and, you know, we'll teach you how to, how to make that particular block. So let me show you the actual fabrics. So it's using a collection called Illusions um, by Banyan Batiks. And they are really, really cool. So if you are familiar with the Luster line, we've got a couple of them. It's really neat. Um, so this is one of the blocks. It, like I said, it's 24 inches. This is the entire block. All of them consist of kind of a like main portion of it and then the side and bottom framing it. And then they get turned, you know, whichever way in the quilt um, they go. But like this one has applique in it. And then it also has um, kind of like snowballing and then putting different pieces together. So you're going to be learning a lot of different techniques in here. Um, you can choose to use uh, special rulers for squaring some of the stuff up. I'm going to tell you guys what, you know, rulers I use to do it. Um, you don't have to, obviously. So this could be considered a no special ruler required, but definitely recommended <laughs> quilt. So, you know, it's kind of neat. Um, it uses three different background, four different background fabrics, and then nine other colored fabrics. So it really is very neat and very fun. Um, they're a little bit more toned down. They're not quite as bright as what we normally do, but you know, we still really like it. So like I said, we're waiting on a little bit more information um, for getting the exact price of it, how it all is going to break down, um, if we're going to give it to you in one lump thing, or if we're going to break it down every single month. Um, but again, as far as I know, the pattern is not available by itself. So you have to buy the kit in order to be able to take the class, um, next year, but I think it's really cool. Um, okay. Any questions, comments on any of that stuff? I know we covered a lot, a lot of classes and of course we have more, you know, we're always trying to come up with more stuff to do. Um, if you have suggestions, we're more than happy to take your suggestions. Yes, we'll get a take a stand class in there somewhere, Cindy. <laughs> oh, she'll see it later. <laughs> okay, um, this weekend, so Saturday, we are participating in the Old Orchid Merchants Association trick or treat event. So that's where um, kids in the community come and they trick or treat at local businesses. And so we're going to have our lovely model Roxanne out there in her costume handing out candy. 
So if you want to come and say hi to her and see how cute she is in person, then you can come and, you know, bring grandkids, kids, whomever, nieces, nephews, the neighbors, you know, just drag them out of their house, say, come on, you're going to go trick-or-treating. Um, it's a fun, you know, safe event for kids to do. It's not at night. It's from Saturday uh, from 1 to 3. So um, you can come and do that. And what else? I think that's it for now. So anyways, have a good Halloween. Have a safe Halloween this weekend. Um, it's our last weekend before the clocks change and we go into November <laughs> already and thinking of the end of the year. Um, start getting your holiday. Oh, you should have already started your holiday products projects. You need to be binding your holiday projects now. <laughs> but like I said, we will have some um, sewing days in December for you guys. So if you need to come and do secret sewing, then you can do that. Um, oh, the calendar for next year. So the big announcement, calendar is officially open. I know we already have some in there. Let's get everybody else in there. Um, so, or private retreat for next year, then give us a call. The sooner the better, because um, as you guys know, it fills up quickly. So let's get you in there and Get you sewing. All right, as long as there's nothing else, then we will say sayonara and see you later.